this Bible study, I kind of learned that and this has a lot to do with like the body of Christ, genuinely wanting more followers of Christ to grow in their spiritual and spiritual wisdom, I guess, and um, just praying for another person or just the body in general of Christ, not just the people who are lost, but to strengthen the body that we already have. Okay, I enjoyed in Ephesians 3 how um, when Paul says, for this cause, it's actually, uh, he was referring to the unique work of God, which is the building up of the body of Christ. We are his masterpiece. Amen. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him in love. Even as he chose us in him, before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him in love. So let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but only that which is good for building up. You know, then so then now Larry and I we can, you know, when we speak, we're speaking Christ to one another, and then we're building each other up. Christ and his body. We are Christ's expression. We are one man. Mystery revealed to us. You should read Ephesians. <laughs> um, to me for you. <laughs> be kind to one another. <laughs> Happy to be here. <laughs> the body of Christ. Put on the new man. We love the body. Ephesians is very good. <laughs> Put off old man. Put on new man. Oh. The fullness of Christ. Oh, we are his masterpiece. Right. And action. Until we all arrive at the oneness of the faith and the full knowledge of the Son of God at the oneness of the faith and the full grown man at the measure of stature of the fullness of Christ until we all arise until we all arise <laughs> 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 say until you guys all arrive because I'm already here but he says until we all arrive yeah. and so this really shows like the burden in this chapter is that there there are no rankings or hierarchy in the body right like Paul doesn't consider himself a higher rank compared to all of us and it's not just one member functioning but all the members functioning I, um, I, I've seen how important it is to contribute and as small as it is and like it really does help and so then um, yeah I've learned that it's important to take care of the body as well to take care of each other and to nourish each other so. um, it means that we have Christ's life in us all the time and the body of Christ isn't just, you know, a bunch of people who love God, but it's really um, all these people built together because they have Christ in them and because Christ is their person. And I am Jordan and we're no longer captives. Amen. But we are loved ones in God. Amen. Um, I appreciate that throughout the book of Ephesians, uh, Paul instructs us, enlightens us about how to uh, grow in the Lord and walk with Him. Uh, in community with other believers, in unity and oneness, and uh, how to mature um, uh, at, in, as individuals and as a body. I appreciate in Ephesians that we were once dead in offenses. God has raised us up together with Him, and now we can know the mystery of His will and participate in His economy for the building up of the body of Christ. Amen. Being built together into a dwelling place of God in spirit. Oh, that Christ may make his home my heart, spread himself in every part, saturate in life in part, that with all saints I may Praise the Lord, Christ is making his home in our hearts. Amen. 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 That's a wrap. That is a wrap. <laughs> Very good. <laughs>